So you 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 gave me a verse saying that this is a proof that Allah is God. This is a proof that Allah is false. Read with me carefully. Yeah. It says what? وَأَنزَلْنَا مَعَهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْمِيزَانَ And we send with them the book. This is a translation here. says a proof. Doesn't say that by the way. It say okay, actually it says al yeah, which means like uh, the clear evidence, okay, and the, and reveal to them the scriptures and the balance that mankind observe not uh, a uh, uh, right measure, and he revealed the iron. The fact it doesn't say that it says in Arabic, wa anzalna al hadid, and we send down the iron. Yes. Okay. When he's, yes. Okay, hold on. That's hold on. send down. You know, iron doesn't come from the earth. F you know, false. it takes like 150 million degrees false, to form iron. No, no, this is false. That's not what the science says. Science no, says, it's true. No, no, I, true. I know what the science says. You can search right. We can search right now on Google. According to science, you know, we wouldn't my have friend, the ozone layer. Finish. We wouldn't have my friend, the my friend, radiation let me, let me belts, finish. no my friend, hemoglobin my friend, in our blood. My friend, we send down iron means that Allah my friend, sent it from my the stars. Friend, hold on. According to science, and we can search right now in Google, and what we'll show you in the screen, that according to science, that the the crust on the crust there's big percentage of the iron on the crust not the earth on the crust yeah, was uh, coming as a but look what it's in happened the here. Of the hold on hold on hold on what happened it says we send you iron for mighty war hold on what are you talking about what are you talking about this what the verse is saying no. it says we send the iron for mighty war <laughs> mighty power no it says mighty war what are you talking about? Basin Shadi, this is for war. Do you want do you do you, you barely sent our message? Do you want me to show you the interpretation? Do you want me to show you the interpretation? That's mighty power. What are you talking okay, about? let me show you the interpretation here. Go on, let's see if it's true or not. You see, Christian Prince, don't say things without proof. Chapter 57, verse number 25. Here we go. This is your official government website. Okay. Okay. It's about war. So that's mean the man was there first, and then the, the Aaron came. In the same verse, it says. That we send down the books so Allah he always sent and not only that I will show you a verse saying that Allah he sent down feather feather I mean chicken don't have feather yes feather I will show it to you okay here we go this is a chapter 57 verse number 25 and yeah, but is, don't you do you understand what that's supposed to mean though my friend I understand here we go okay read, read with me carefully okay. which translation what what interpretation you like me to show you uh, I don't care you don't care okay no problem all right, and we send down iron. We caused it to be extracted uh, 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 from mineral ores where in a great might, which may wage war, wage battle as many use uh, uses for mankind. You see it? So yeah. Allah is saying that He sent you the iron so you can kill people. Now here, look what it says in the Quran. It says that we send down the proof. We send down the book. We send down the scale. Did Allah send the scale? No. And then he and then he says, and we send down the iron. Anything Allah created, He say in the Quran, we send down. And I will give you the proof of that. They lie to you and they claim that this is about sending down iron from the sky. The fact, no. Let us see how we can prove that not true. If we go in the Quran. One of the problems <coughs> Muslims uh, 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 suffer from, but they don't know, they don't speak, uh, they don't speak Arabic. And we send send down on you. Change the translation. Let us see. We keep changing from one to one. Shakir. Here we go. This guy. You see it? We have indeed sent down to you clothing to cover your shame. Okay, in the top of that it says uh, 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 a Here they, they cover that. They, they, it doesn't say they didn't say a reach in reach reach in a feather. Reach the word reach is feather. This is the word reach. They, no, they hide the, the same word. thing as the hadith. Are yes, you? we send down clothes. Did, did Allah send you clothes, really? <laughs> you see, I'm, uh, you see, we're trying to have an honest discuss, discussion. With, they die to you. So how come if if that one if that one it says we send down. And this one we it says send down. So how here they did not say okay we discovered that the underwear I have is sent down by Allah, <laughs> right? 
Yeah, it's, a, it's a lie. And not only that, here they hide in the translation. There were the word reach according to the Quran. Allah even reach, which is feather. Allah He sent down even even feather, which means the chicken was naked, and Allah He sent her a package in Amazon, and she received her feather. You see, the word feather is gone. I can't find it. I can't find one translation saying the word feather and change the translation from one to one. You know, not even one of them is coming with the word feather. Yeah, where is the word feather? I don't see it. So they lie to you. You see, they, they are desperately trying to find a place where they can make a science out of nothing. Give me another one. Let's continue. Until now, we found zero. Dawah is deception. And if you want proof that Dawah is deception, just take a careful look at any of the arguments that Muslim scholars and apologists use to show that Islam is true. Take one of their favorite so-called scientific miracles of the Quran, the miracle of iron being sent down from outer space. Muslims are extremely proud of this miracle, so there are endless videos about it on YouTube. Quran miracle, God sent down the iron, confirmed by Discovery Channel. Miracle of iron in Quran and science. Quran, iron was sent down from space. Iron, scientific miracles of Quran, animated. Iron was sent down from outer space, revealed in Quran. Evidence the Quran is from God, iron in the Quran. Scientific miracles of the Quran, the mystery of iron. In videos like these, Muslim scholars and apologists quote part of Surah 57, verse 25 of the Quran. They always quote part of it. Why? Because as we'll soon see, quoting the full verse would ruin everything. And we and also, also sent down, down iron, iron, in which, in which there, there lies great, great force, 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 and which and has which many has uses, uses for mankind. mankind. Does the echo help make it sound like it came from God? Dawa is deception. Then they draw attention to the sent down part. But uses the words sent down for iron. It is clear from the verse that iron is not an earthly material, but was sent down for the benefit of humanity. Then they show that according to modern science, iron was formed inside stars billions of years ago. The stars exploded, sending iron through space until some of it ended up right here. It is not possible for this knowledge to be known in the age when the Quran was revealed, that is, 1400 years ago. Since it is not possible, how can it be explained that this information exists within the Quran? This is the point where gullible people say, you know, I'm just going to assume that the apologists and scholars in these videos are giving me accurate information. I'm going to assume that they're not trying to deceive me. After all, why would they try to deceive me about their book? So even though I could spend five or 10 minutes doing some very easy research to verify what they're saying, I'm just going to accept everything they say without question. Muslim apologists and scholars love people who believe whatever they say without bothering to investigate. Well, if we decided to investigate, we could spend two minutes or so trying to figure out if people in the ancient world knew that iron came down from the sky. And if we did spend two minutes or so trying to figure out if people in the ancient world knew that iron came down from the sky, we would find that ancient cultures, such as the Egyptians and Babylonians, did indeed know that iron came down from the sky. As we read in Smithsonian Magazine, to the ancient Egyptians, iron was known as the metal of heaven says the University College London. In the hieroglyphic language of the ancient Egyptians, it was pronounced ba and pet, meaning either stone or metal of heaven. For thousands of years before they learned to smelt iron ore, Egyptians were crafting beads and trinkets from it, harvesting the metal from fallen meteorites. So the Egyptians knew that meteorites came down from the sky, and they knew that these meteorites were made of what they called metal of heaven, iron. I guess that makes them prophets, since there's no way anyone could know that those chunks of metal that fell out of the sky fell out of the sky. Only Allah could reveal that something that fell out of the sky fell out of the sky.